So some of you have asked me to provide some tips. And I would just say to make sure that you are gambling responsibly. The biggest thing is it's just like playing any game. If you're playing Pac-Man, that little blinky guy is going to get you. And if you're chasing a bonus, it's going to get you. You do not get stuck in that system where you're thinking it's going to hit. It's going to hit. I know, 100 more, 100 more, 100 more. Because by the time you know it, you're going to be going to the only real thing that hits, which is the ATM. So I would just say make sure that you're having fun. Make sure you're moving around. Some people like to stay where they're at, um, and that's okay too. But one of the biggest things I think that people get stuck on is they stay where they're at, and then they don't realize that um, before you know it, you are so far in that you don't feel like you can get out. What is on my shirt? You guys, <laughs> it's like something on my shirt. I was out walking today and I, it's mud. I like literally, it's super muddy where I'm at. This is hilarious. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it okay it's super muddy so like my shoes are muddy and my like pants are muddy because the mud was like splashing up at me and but I did not realize that I got mud all the way like I know earlier I was like wiping mud off my cheek so <laughs> so if you think that this is so glamorous trust me it's not and also you know when you're playing it's kind of the same way so that was just fun. Oh, it is what it is right it's gonna be what it is now nobody can on see it and you're all gonna be like she had mud on her shirt and trust me if you're digging in the mud you're gonna find some um but no really seriously have fun have a good time when you go out you know maybe have a buddy with you that can be like hey stop now when i do that and my buddy tells me hey stop i'm like you need to get back and part of that is because my buddy likes to gamble as much as i do and shout out to boomer he knows and we both tell each other, now you're going to stop. And I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 well, I'm going to stop. I'm only going to spend my free play or whatever it is. And then, you know, that's not always what happens. But really the tricks of the trade is just to go in and have a good time. Sometimes, you know, I've watched people on 88 cents at Grand Jackpots um, quite often. And that's changed, I think, in the last couple years since the pandemic. Before the pandemic, you know, you would see those grands being hit by someone who was betting the $25. But now it's kind of like anyone's ball field. That's how I personally feel. It could be true, maybe. Are you kidding me? It could be true, or maybe it's not. But it's definitely how I personally feel about it is that um, nowadays, you know, you don't always have to bet the $25 to hit big. Um, you know, sometimes I'll just go in the middle and I'll be like, okay, the $5 bet is good enough for me. But really what I think that is, you know, you have to appreciate is the fact that, you know, be kind to people. Be, have a good philosophy when you enter someplace. Don't get mad if you're losing. I can't stand that when I am there and somebody next to me sits down and starts flipping out and saying they're gonna hit the machine. And I'm like, I gotta get out of here. Like, I don't want that around me. Um, and I know we all get upset when we lose, like who likes to lose? But seriously, you're going in there. And my philosophy has always been for several years, I play to lose. If I win, it's a bonus. It's a bonus. If I lose, I didn't spend my bill money. I didn't spend my baby diaper money. I didn't spend my whatever I needed to pay the whatever. I'm not spending that money if I lose. So, and I think that's important. Have a budget. Don't take, like, I don't take any kind of credit cards with me. I leave my stuff in the hotel room or whatever 
um, so that I have to actually go get it because by the time I'm going to get it, I'm like, ooh, bad idea. I remember that interest charge. I remember that to take a cash advance, it's gonna charge you money. Um, don't do that if you can avoid it. Um, just take what your budget is and know that you can go again. And that's the beauty of it. There's a lot of different machines. Also, always sign up for a Players Club card. And the reason I tell you that is because that's how, yes, they are keeping track of you. And some of you, I know you don't like that. But when you see other people getting promotional offers, it is because they have had that card. And when you see someone maybe hitting a hot seat, every casino is different. Like one of the casinos I go to, I've hit hot seats and really been playing like what I didn't consider to be very much of anything. Somewhere else I've been, you know, it's like you're entering tickets to be in a drawing and that, you know, you're playing to get those tickets. But again, that's like chasing a bonus. Don't expect that that's going to happen for you. It might and it might not. And if it doesn't, that's okay because you went with a budget. You, you're not chasing bonuses. You've got your pal with you, and if you don't have a pal with you, you're telling yourself, this is what I am going to spend. I always separate my money before I get to a casino, and so I'll separate it because if I go to a casino, I'm staying there a couple days. I don't live around where a casino is, and so I separate out, okay, here's my 500 for today, here's my 500 for tomorrow, or whatever the amount is, and I'm just using an example. Um, I have that all separated out. So that I know, okay, bring my money, go check in the hotel, don't get stuck when you're walking. I've done that lots of times. Boomer and Lucky and Shazam will all tell you that if I get there and I'm like, ooh, wait real quick, I'm gonna stop a second. It is a bad deal for me. I need to go to my room, I need to put my other money in the safe, I need to bring down what I have to play with for that night. Because like I said, I'm staying usually a couple days. Now, with that said, I also always think about customer service. There is one casino in particular that I've been to for years, um, and they have really good customer service. And the part that they have is I can maybe not go there for years at a time, and if I walk through the door, they have long-term employees and they know, they know who I am. And they'll say, oh my gosh, you're back. You know, and even if I'm not spending Again, can't on see my mud and it truly is mud, guys I swear to God like I was I just walked a mile and a half and had to get out of my house it's like 60 degrees out where I live which is like a heat wave that's like Miami Florida or something which yeah I I live in the Dakotas so it's cold usually um but I had to go for a walk I was like my daughter took my daughter took me for a walk and yeah, I got mud like all over myself and yeah, I'm just not changing. I will hold it like this though because it makes me uncomfortable because I'm really a girly girl and most of you probably already know that. Um, but yeah, so anyways, take your money up to your room. Make sure you're budgeting. Have a good time. Don't get caught chasing the bonuses. Go to places that have good customer service. If they're not treating you well, don't go back there. Um, you know, when you're seeing my videos and you see me say, this has good customer service, it has good customer service. I don't just say that. I've worked in the hospitality business for years. And to me, my room has to be clean. I want, you know, somebody to treat me right. And in return, please tip people. If you get a jackpot, tip people. If someone's bringing you a water, tip them. They are working for next to nothing and they are there to serve you. And most of the time, they're doing an amazing job. Your casino host, make sure you tell them thank you for everything they do for you. They go above and beyond to make sure you're taken care of. And if you do not connect with your casino host, that is another thing that you need to be doing. Get your player's club card, say hello to your casino host. Even if you're betting 88 cents, I don't care what you're betting. Make sure to meet them because they will remember who you are and they will make sure that you are taken care of. And I go to Deadwood and I would say where I go, they have the best casino host around. So shout out and you know who you are 
and I won't mention your name on here because this is not a promotion. I love you.